everyone, and welcome to Flat Cap Hero Talk. And this is one of my favorite shows every single week. It's the one where I give you the itch of the week. And then this time, it will be joined by a very, very, very special guest, a very good friend of mine, especially David's as well, just good buddies of the Harris Army, as well as the Flat Cap Army, a very legendary member of the Flat Cap Army. It is Shamu, and it's actually Shamu Yitch now, I believe. Shamu, you're actually a natural itch, if I'm not mistaken, compared to me, which is more of an honorary I'm- kind of indoctrinated itch you know maybe you could give a bit of a quick background on your itchness and also maybe why you even uh probably you know like to maybe uh, have this fascination like i do in regards to the itches well it's my my dad's side so the croatian side and the, my grandparents came from small islands in croatia sadly no no croatian footballers in my side I always tend to have a look to see you know if they come from any of them coming from the islands they all tend to be from Zagreb. apparently all the people on my end you know from where we're from they're all, all too lazy so <laughs> not good but then yeah just where, where it all started was uh the 98 world cup for me i've actually got one of the hats from the 98 world cup so that that's where it all started for work so obviously in that one we got we got third so that's where it all started Brilliant. supporting them Really, I mean, as you maybe well know, you know, my love for the itches originally started with, you know, my favorite player of all time, Stefan Jovicic, and then it just moved on. You know, it's almost like going, it's almost, it's almost like a non ending kind of spiral to a degree. You know, then it went on to Ilicic, then it went on to many other, and even including, I would say, some of the ones that we're about to be competing between. And so, might as well just break down it uh, right now at star flat cap itch of the week it is between ante rabich of ac milan and dushan Tadic of ajax now i would say in my case uh shamu for ante rabich i just feel like he he's definitely maybe becoming actually one of uh, a very well supported uh striker of, from the ac milan faithful you know he had that incredible goal where he absolutely roofed it against allison in the champions league in their opening match for the champions league before that as well, he had a good match against, uh, or I think after that, excuse me, he had a good match as well against Juventus, scored with a fantastic header uh, from a corner. To me, Ante Rebic is probably one, if he's not going to win it this week, very well due for one, in my opinion, Ante Rebic. But what's your case for Dushan Tadic? Why should we give him the itch of the week? Just having a good lot of form for Ajax last week. They got a 9 0 against the Eredivisie team and then got two assists and a goal in that one and then just just today again got two assists and a goal so he's he's banging in the form for the Eredivisie side and you know Ajax are a good good young team and he's he's a bit older than them so it's good to see that the older itch mm. showing the youngest younger younger folk how it's all done over there so you know yeah he's just agree actually in that all case all would you family, you know I still got the tickers you know I can still provide the assistance for the goal <laughs> so I'm getting up there Rightly so, rightly so. I would say actually in defense of maybe Dushan Tadic, not only does I do I think he actually has a better, you know, kind of name even uh, in comparison to Ante Rebic, I would say Dushan Tadic is probably going to be well due, you know, an itch award. A majority of the itches, you know, probably might be awarded to people in the Serie A this season. So do you feel like mm-hmm. maybe Dushan Tadic, maybe while, you know, we're kind of giving out these preliminary itch awards, you know, it's maybe someone outside the Serie A is probably due one. And then as well, you know, he had that yeah. career at Southampton, you know, which a lot of people, you know, kind of rated him there. He had some great goals, had some great moments, but it seems like ever since he's gone to Ajax, he's become a real like club legend there to a degree. Yeah, I think he's he's kind of overdue, especially with the last two games. Picking up that that kind of form, you you can't ignore it, you know. Especially with the Serie A, I've noticed recently it's been more assists than anything for a lot of the right. players, and even gone to the Croatian league. I've had a look at the Serbian league, and it's still not many hat tricks or or doubles or double assists or anything kind of kind of yeah. to go wow. Yeah. Even in Liga, you know, there was wasn't any any of the defenders in there like Coleta Car. He was he wasn't playing. Barisic, I don't think wasn't playing for for Rangers, so you know I've been I'll keep an eye on the Scottish league and stuff like that to make sure the itches aren't getting left out there. <laughs> and that's what I love about you, Shamu, is that not only are you you know uh, especially out, I mean your knowledge outside of itches, I mean believe me, is unbelievable. And I would say you're just as well that my absolutely honorary you know kind of itch expert to a degree. You know just inform me on any maybe spectacular performances from the itches. I would say even in like you said with Barisic from. Uh, from Rangers, as well as, you know, plenty of other players that we might be eventually, maybe you can inform me on a certain maybe Serbian itch or Croatian itch or, you know, that might score, let's say, you know, a hat trick or, you know, maybe even more than that, let's say, have an even better performance. Maybe like Norsic might show up one week and we'll give it to him. But I feel like this is a very hotly contested affair between the Ante Rebic and Dusan Tadic. So everybody in the Harris Army, everybody in the Black Cap Army, 
to let me know who should we be giving this award to because Shamu does have the honorary itch trophy right beside him here between Ante Rebic and Dushan Tadic. Do let us know which one you think should be winning the award this season. I'm going to advocate for Ante Rebic just because of maybe the, you know, the, I would say the, the importance of the goals that he scored. I think, you know, he obviously had that good goal against Juventus, which allowed Juventus to continue to drop points. They're absolute free fall right now. But then also as well, you know, he's able to open the scoring for Milan against Liverpool. In L- Milan, in my opinion, despite maybe coming back in that game, they kind of did struggle at moments against uh, Liverpool and Ante Rebic definitely coming in the clutch. But maybe, you know, is there any maybe final case before maybe I make my decision on who giving uh, the award this week, Shamu? Do you feel like maybe there's a certain thing about Dushan that just makes it, you know, maybe especially uh, worthwhile, you know, to give him the award this week? I just feel, you know, that Ajax a lot of the time go go unnoticed just because they're playing in the era divisi. You know, they're still, right. they're still professional footballs at the end of the day, and he's playing in a mm-hmm. young team, so he's he's the older figure there, and he's. He's still, you know, making his case and keeping potentially some of these good young players out of the team. And, you know, that can't be easier. I, you know, who's got a good youth academy. Right. And he's uh, honestly, uh, he's one of the players, you know, who's, who's, you know, got all the experience who they can obviously rely on. And, you know, you can't buy that. He's a bit of that itch wisdom, you might say, you know, kind of for them. He yeah, actually provides a bit of the the itches. Buy. They have the techers that, you know, plenty don't. And I would say he's probably even teaching that to many of the IX Youth Academy, you might say. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, he's just got the experience, which you can't buy. You know, he's been to the Premier League. He's, he's played all around. Love to hear Started it. Love off to hear in, it. in Serbia as well, the local club, Baka Topia as well, which is quite interesting before he moved on. So he, he's, he's, he's a local lad who knows his roots. He's not even a Belgrade man. He's not even a Red Star Belgrade man. No, he's, he was born from there, and like that was the area. And it's actually a um, Hungarian constitute at the, at the top there, where where he's from. Wow. So it's very Hungarian, you know, based around there. And he, he's a big fan of his Serbian football as well. So if you ever see Dusan Tadic around, you know, absolutely, if you've got I've a always Serbian rated ask, him. You've probably got more more of a chance of getting a response from him than just saying, you know. <laughs> With a Southampton shirt, you're wearing a Serbian basketball shirt, you he'll come <laughs> definitely, over. Definitely, 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 definitely. Uh, but maybe in my, I might be actually probably conceding for this one, Shamu. So I'm actually going to be giving it. Unfortunately, I'm not giving it to Ante Rabic this week. He's probably going to win one probably in the future, anyways. Might be even the right definitely. time, you know, just to give it to someone else. So we are giving it to yeah. Dushan Tadic this week. You know, Shamu. Uh, now that we see the graphic for Dushan Tadic winning his award, do you mind, you know, maybe personally handing maybe Dushan his award here? Yeah, I'd just like to say um, congratulations to Dushan Tadic on receiving the uh, first official trophy for the uh, Flat Cap Itch of the Week award. If you want to get in contact right, the with very uh, physical uh, official trophy for him as well. It will be in the mail for Dushan. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, you know, you he will be receiving it sometime soon from New Zealand. Yeah, that's if you want to get in touch, Dushan, or one of his agents, all you have to do is just get in contact with Jack. I'm sure the email is <laughs> below, or you can send Jack a DM on Twitter. I'm sure that would be even better saying, you know, hey, I saw your Itch of the Week video, and I'd like to pick up my Itch of the Week trophy. Probably better off than the Eredivisie one you might get. Absolutely, so, Dushan, absolutely. There you are, Dushan. There you are, Dushan. Hopefully, you know, this is the right size of trophy. You know, you're you're, you're willing. Maybe, Dushan, in the future, if you have a bit of a better uh, itch of the week performance, which might give you a bigger one, which I know uh, Shamu has actually even bigger trophies to present to some of the itches, maybe depending on how good the weeks are, maybe for some of them. Uh, but everybody, exactly. maybe please let us know. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> please let us know uh, if there are any itches maybe we missed out on this week you know if there are any spectacular itch performances that we're missing that we're probably snubbing to a degree but i do think this was actually a bit of a hotly contested affair between the two itches but that'll be all for now should move from the remaining of this you know uh in my opinion you know it's kind of the, the my favorite kind of joking kind of very just fun kind of crack kind of a, i would say just you know show of mine you know it's not my most professional i would say but it's also to a degree actually secretly my favorite kind of show so shamu will be joining me for the rest of it just because it allows me to smile a bit more while doing it as well he's has more of an itch knowledge than even i do he's my honorary itch he's even made me actually excuse me he's made me an honorary itch he's actually naturally born itch uh in comparison to me so eventually i'll be able to change the surname but i do hope you enjoyed this one 
Uh, this will be all for now in terms of Flat Cap Pitch of the Week. Of course, you know, there's plenty of other videos coming out on Flat Cap Euro Talk. But if you're new to this channel, hopefully maybe you enjoy these Itch of the Week contests. There'll be more to come every week with uh, Shamu and I. And that'll be all for now. Please like and subscribe. Please hit that shiny red button down below in case you're new. Or also hit that bell if you're not, if you're not, if you don't want to miss another one just like this, another Itch of the Week. But that'll be all for now. And Shamu and I will be seeing you.